Hello, and welcome back to The Elder Scrolls Beta. This is going to be the final part of my coverage of the beta. Um, you can see here, this is kind of the character that I had at level 7. I believe I got him up a couple more levels, but this is just kind of... I put this in here mostly so I could talk, but this next part is going to be just a mishmash of different kinds of stuff I saw that didn't really fit into the quests from the first part, so it's going to get started. So here you can see me, this is me showing off the morphing ability. So you, you pick out a skill, like we're using twin shadows slashes here. You can pick between two different ones. This is an interesting way, I think, to make sure that players are different. So not everyone just has the same cookie cutter build because you can kind of choose what you want to do. Now, obviously somebody might go through and find out like this is the best thing for a certain class, but at least in this first part, it kind of feels like you can choose to do, be whatever kind of class you want, you can anything is is valid, I guess, if that makes sense. Like, I'm an orc who is a freak, who's heavy armor expertise, um, and is supposed to use. And I think for a lot of the time, I actually do use heavy armor, but I'm not supposed to do this guy. <laughs> I just thought this guy was hilarious. Um, this is another a glitch that, you, that I found. I mean, this guy looks like he's in, going on a big important mission. Then nope, oh, forgot my keys or something. Got to walk back the other way. And he's just in slow-mo, the only person in the whole world moving in slow motion. I don't know if that was... And then he dis disappears. Oh, man. And here, uh, traditional MMO kind of stuff where something went low. This is a big problem for a lot of people. Nothing will load, and there's a guy up here doing push-ups randomly. And we skip to this. Oh, here we go. Okay, this is me showing off some of the third-person stuff. So there you see me dive forward to kill that guy. So you get to finally get to see some third-person combat. Oh, and this lady. This lady. This is just... I think this... There's a few clips of me just finding people saying ridiculous stuff or doing dumb things, like me and Halijax finding these people living inside each other. And this is, I like this animation, so I'm gonna shut up, you guys watch this. <laughs> I don't know why, I just think that's funny to see him do that. And then here, oh, this is interesting. We're gonna see, so earlier she liked me because I did stuff for her, but when I did something against her, she gets mad at you. So it shows that your choices actually matter, which I think is pretty cool. I don't know if you agree, but seeing that your choices mean something is cool to me. And here we see that as we move to Daggerfall even, they keep coming with you. So, well, so we had Captain Kayleen, Narama, uh, or Naramo, excuse me, there's Chakarn. Uh, Crafty Larissa, Larissa, Lambor, all these people that become characters that you saw in the first and second parts keep going with you. Now, I don't know if that continues, but I think it's cool to come here and the Crafty Larissa's here with her monkey surveying Daggerfell. Daggerfell? Yeah, Dagger, Daggerfell or Daggerfall. I can't remember. But they all come with you to at least this third place. There's Captain Kaylee, she's still pissed at me, probably. <laughs> and then, here we see what Daggerfell... I can't... Mm. Daggerfell. I mean, I think it's Daggerfell. I think it's Daggerfell. But here we see just some really cool, in my opinion, cool architecture and what it looks like. You know, it looks really, a really big castle. This is the first really impressive looking place that I found. The, uh, the orc place, Betniki, had some cool little, like, logs tied together to make bigger logs that I just lost myself in the, <laughs> the wall. But other than that, this was the first place that looked cool. Here we see, I talked about in the last video, horses, how much they cost. As you can see, like that's pretty expensive. I'm level six or seven at this point, maybe five. I don't know, somewhere in there. And I only have a thousand gold. And that costs 70,000. And here is just someone actually on a horse for a second. And then here are just the different types of horses. So we have a gilded horse, a simple horse, a draft horse. And I think draft is the fastest. I might be wrong. And a light horse. I I say that and I don't really know. Oh, and this was cool. You get a quest from a dog, which I thought was interesting. It's almost like um, Lassie. This, this dog comes to find you and you f follow it to solve a mystery. I don't have the full mystery on here, but I just have a, it's, I think he even takes us to kind of a well, which was kind of funny. I just thought this was a funny little quest they had. So we're following this Lassie-like dog, no, dog the can't talk, named Giblets. And he's taking us to the square to go find this thing that, what was it? What are you supposed to find? I don't remember. There's another horse guy riding beside me. But you go down here to find his master. And it's not really a well, I guess. It's just kind of a pool of water. But I don't know. I just thought it was kind of a funny little quest. And then at the end, we get to see some more 
of me in third person fighting, I believe. Yeah, here we go. So just some more of the third person combat. Which is easy, it is easier to see the, uh, when they have those big red parts come through, it's easier to see that. But otherwise I think I liked first person better. But again, you can kind of choose as you want, whichever one you want to do, personally. And I don't think I show very much more of this quest, just because after the dog, it was kind of boring, but... Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, this was kind of cool. So you go into a... I guess you would call it a, a dream type thing with the prophet. And just this cool... I really think this whole area looked really, really cool. And also this part shows off... Like, here's Manicore, which, if you play through, you'll find out this is, like, the bad guy that summoned one of the Daedric princes. Basically, sort of. I'm probably getting that, butchering that completely, but basically, this is kind of the... Shows you what is happening, what's bad. And these people are all dying because Manicore is taking them over. And now, he's pulling somebody out. And so I think this might end up being one of the big bosses, is this Mana Marco guy. Yeah, Momok Bow, that's the prince. But he looks, definitely looks cool. He could be a cool end boss. Uh, I'm sure Momok Bow will probably be the end end boss. But he's, he could be pretty cool up there. And this, this is your first time I saw a Dark Anchor. Now, basically, I think these things are going to be places where lots of people can come and fight people in the overworld, kind of like a dungeon, to get you lots of good experience and quests. Not quests, experience and loot. It's you, and that one I didn't actually up. fight. Oh, this is cool. So see this guy, after I did something, some of these people would talk to you. I'm Now I'm moving way too fast, so this guy, I just thought this guy looked funny. Um, but anyways, back to that thing, like NPCs will really react to you after you do something to make them happy. This part right here shows off, once you get a, you can get a, a trait that makes iron ore where you can see it better, which I like a lot because at first it's really hard to see. And then here, this is just another cool enemy type I found, the Lurcher, which I say found, I'm sure tons of people found them. They're actually kind of hard. I remember at least one or two of them killing me. I don't know why I'm just standing there right now, but <laughs> there we go, now we're fighting. But yeah, this, this is kind of just a quick hits of some of the stuff I saw. Uh, I hope it turns out okay. Oh, and then we see this, yeah, our first fetch quest. So you have to go find five arms, but, you know... They're always there. And this, I just thought this guy was weird because he's like a Russian um, communist, basically calling me comrade and stuff. And this was actually the place I've been talking about throughout these videos where I died a lot to the Diedric Hydra thing, Doisha. She was the one that killed me five or six times and never killed her, never could beat her before it was over. Oh, and then here you see um, as it's customary in most MMOs where everyone starts to look the same. So Michael Thomas and I <laughs> have the same pants, most of the same stuff. Oh, and this guy. Earlier we saw somebody, the quest wasn't loading and a guy was doing push-ups. So this is another part where something's not loading. And that guy found a chair. And this, finally. So this is the weirdest NPC this we've found. Uh, she's putting flowers. flowers in the graveyard, calls it the perfect place. Just really strange. But this is kind of some quick hits. Uh, I hope it was okay. It's kind of moving fast. But either way, I hope you enjoyed. Flowers. Bye.